and so like we really finally did that and yeah we, like, we did and it was a good one there was yeah. tears a lot of emotions and well, good. by this point, it's probably already been posted when they're seeing this. It's true. I but said. we want to be real. Like, that's what I think that our goal is. Um, like, the one thing that, like, what I'm trying to accomplish by, like, having the platform that we're kind of becoming, like, that we're kind of having is not, oh, everybody be gay or everybody, you know, th do this or that. It's, like, really, just, like, it's just to, like, be yourself, be, like, love others like spread love like in all ways possible like be true to yourself and respect and love others and try to like always be mindful of maybe where other people are coming from mm -hmm. and but at the same time like not at the cost of your own happiness so it's just like a balance like I, we just want to be like positive and yeah. we want to spread that and yeah. our like both of our hearts are like real Kind of sensitive um, just because of everything that we've been through and where we come from like we're very but I wouldn't do all that all. no I wouldn't either because I have so much to I don't know what to call it like people who are going through tough things with their past or family or um I don't know can I say religion <laughs> yeah like anything like anything like that like, barriers like that are like Micah every day deals with her religious past like kind of sometimes haunts her and yeah, baby just... wakes up in the middle of the night bawling with nightmares like at least two or three times a week and I just have to like have to like try to be understanding and like I and, know I'm and... glad that I like have a similar background not like as much like but I know she gets a little frustrated because she wants me to let it like go she wants it to be I want you gone to find she wants peace. me to be I want you to at have peace. peace and it's really I mean it's a struggle like I do have peace about who I am I'm happy with who I am but some of the things that I went through growing up and was taught it comes up and I have nightmares and I've talked to other people I'm not the only one I've talked to random people even here in Eureka Springs I talked to a lady at the, the bar it wasn't she the one that said or was it a guy I it can't was, remember it was the there bartender was, who was raised Pentecostal and, and she was like she was uh, you know not that Pentecostal's bad it's just she had a similar background where she was like not ready for the world yeah and especially not ready for the world like being gay mm -hmm. it's a lot even more complicated because you struggle with like who you are there's pain associated with being who you are because you can't help it yeah and you want to do what makes you happy, but you also don't want to feel like, oh, I'm going to burn in hell because of because how of, I feel. Yeah, because of the way that I was taught was to be so, like, afraid of everything. Like, And I told her this morning, like, there's a lot of different views. For those of you who, like, believe in God, there's a lot of different views. And there's some people who view God as, like, a policeman. Like, and he's, and they're, like, like, afraid of him. Yeah, like, he's always like going to he's gonna punish you if you don't. He's keeping a list, and he's going to punish you and make you burn in hell or make you die like Micah always has these fears of like if she because of how she was raised like if she does certain things or acts a certain way that God's going to punish her and for like, just being happy and I, I know that's not true like but you're God working on it yeah I am working on it because I know that God wants he wants you to be happy he wants you, he to, wants you to prosper and he wants you to be at peace yeah I believe that so but yeah. it's just you know those things come up once in a while and a struggle it's a but struggle. I for one year like lost all my my beliefs after I went through a divorce and I was uh you know married to like a guy who was going to be a Baptist preacher we were super really really involved in our church and I whenever we went through our divorce I legit like didn't believe anything and I like went on a path of like I want to figure it out for myself God like brought me back to who he is like you know, you know, not all, uh, not a certain type of, I just like, I'm figure, I'm still figuring it out, but like, I'm at complete peace, like a hundred percent with who I am and like what I believe in. It's like the most free thing because like, I don't feel like God is like, I know he has much like, bigger he's not problems. Against you. He's not against me. Like he, he wants, like he wants me to have peace and like, he wants me to like experience like the goodness that he has and not like view him as like some evil like he wants you ju to judgment 
only like you know he wants you to like spread his love is what I think the, so the thing from my past that I remember the most, like, the best part of, like, the way that I was taught in the religion was the preachers that preached on God's love. I do hold on to those things, and that's what I just need to, like, I need to focus on that, because we're not perfect. It's really hard being a woman in today's world. Like, there's so many voices around us, like, with pressure on how we look, like, body image and this and that. Like, I struggle so much with body image because my weight is, like, up and down, like, oh, I'm freaking, like tear myself apart but at the end of the day like looks aren't what matter like your past isn't what matters like what matters like, that you like be a positive person in the world like you help others and love others and spread that around like be the person at work that's uplifting like to others and like try to like not be in the gossip like be that person that people know like they're gonna they know that they can count on you and that you're going to be someone who's never going to put people down behind their back and stuff and like right. obviously we have gossiped a lot like we definitely <laughs> we're typical women we're men, we're men talking about too we're talking about just straight up tearing people down for no good reason good people and just just spreading like a negative vibe that's what we're not about we just never want to stand for that and so you know Whatever you believe, whether it's like us or whether it's different, we don't care. Like, I think what's beautiful is being, like, true tolerance is, like, loving people and accepting people no matter if they believe different than you. Like, you have to realize that we're all humans. We're, we're all entitled to our own beliefs. Like, you can be Pentecostal. You can be Baptist. You can be Muslim. You can be anything that you believe and you have that right you don't have the right to tear other people down because of what they believe. You don't right. have the right, you don't have the to, right to tear people. your beliefs on other people. Right, whatever they are. Whether you're liberal or conservative. If you're, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever you believe is what you believe in. Meeting someone who believes different than you, no matter what you stand for, you shouldn't tear those people down because if you believe in true tolerant, if you're, if you're truly tolerant, like you said, then you're just gonna love everybody. Put just because you're we're gay, just, just don't put us in a box. Like, like I think like the world should. I don't care what your color is. I don't care where you're from. Like I feel like everybody has the right to like pursue life, love, pursuit of happiness. Like everybody has that. Like no matter what your skin color is, no matter what you look like, no matter if you're um, anything. I don't know. And so I think it's just something that um, that we went to like start speaking out for mm -hmm. I love that about uh, our relationship is that we're just so lined up my life has changed a lot in the last year like a lot because of like social media and different opportunities that have come about like me before and I wasn't out publicly and I don't want to like waste this platform posting sexy pictures and just like or like being self-absorbed which it is easy to get that way like and I I mean I don't think there's anything wrong with posting sexy pictures I think that, that we just want more out of this platform that we have like we want to we have the opportunity to speak out on things like this and we want to use that opportunity to, to, to do something different to be a, like be the change that we want to see yeah because I think by the time that my kids are teenagers that the world is going to be a lot more accepting and loving like I think the Christians need to be loved I think the Muslims need to be loved I think the Jew Jewish people need to be loved I think the gays need to be loved I think the, I think the women liberals need to be loved <laughs> the liberals need to be because loved. the conservative people put them in a box our goal is to get everybody in every category every political standpoint, every religion, not religion, whatever you are, to just be tolerant because there's the so arguing. much arguing, there's so much fighting so, about so who believes this, and it is draining. It's like, you know, I have friends who believe a certain way about some um, controversial issues, and I don't like when they talk about it, hey, I just let them talk and let them feel how they feel and I don't like want to argue with them about it. I don't want to change their views because A, I know it's not going to work and B, like I'm still like I'm, I'm still tolerant and still loving and I still love them and I 
don't want to change their views because they're entitled to that. So, you know, we're not wanting to change anybody's views. We're just wanting to bridge everybody together and make everybody just love everybody. And We had a moment um, where we noticed that we were being judgmental of somebody. We have a friend, mainly Micah's friend, who was dating a guy for a long time and then she started dating a girl for her first girl to date and then she kind of got in an open um relationship with a couple and it was not anything we'd ever like really I mean I've heard of swingers and stuff but it was nothing we were really comfortable with like well, she was like in a relationship with a couple and at first we were like what the hell is wrong with her like that they are married and she's infringing on their marriage that's never going to work this and that but if you think about it like she can love whoever she wants and she has the right to, to be, be whatever happy. kind of relationship makes her happy yeah. and I honestly had to tell Micah like Micah <laughs> you she loved you I was I when mean, you were gay and didn't care I had a weird relationship in the past so yeah. I had to like be like oh okay like yeah. You have to it, just let people be happy mm-hmm. and let them do their thing. She has every so. right to do that, and she has every right to be respected, and every right for us to be supportive and ask her how she's doing and how that's going. And just because a lot of she's kind of lost a lot of people because of it, and like, why don't we be the people who like, like love her no matter what? Yeah, because everybody needs those people that will support you no matter what. Yeah. Just like we want it. Yeah, exactly. So, kind of tell us your thoughts on this. Like, this is kind of a... We covered a lot of topics, and we didn't even plan to talk about this, but I guess it's something we're deeply passionate about, because it comes up a lot in our vlog. So, we want you guys to comment, you know, tell us what you're thinking about some of the things that we're talking about. Like, tell us kind of like, you know, some of your opinions, or if you agree on what we're trying to do, you know, just... Or if you don't agree, that's fine. Like if anything, you, like just like kind of give us some feedback. So put it in the comments. Like make sure you subscribe to our channel because we are growing and we love the vlogging thing. I think is my favorite. Yeah, it's becoming we're do, it's becoming our favorite thing. We're doing it a lot more. And okay, well we love you all. We really do. Y'all feel even like even though y'all are all over the world, you start to feel like family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we pick some of you out by names and mm-hmm. we talk to you like. And we, we're, we're super thankful for the support that you guys have given us because we are. in time when we didn't feel like we had support, we had y'all. We had, yeah, we had y'all, so it was, we're, really, we're really thankful for that. Okay. Bye. Bye.